Hello everyone, welcome back to another video today. Today's video is going to be what if Zygmadoria was in Attack on Titan. So yeah, let's get into this right now. So yeah, we actually start off uh, the dead of night as, you know, some the usual the garrison just walking around, making sure nothing's in the walls, nothing out, nothing's trying to get into the walls. So that is until they see something literally running on all fours at them. This, and they check, they use some, they check it, and it seems like it's around twin, twelve meters tall. But probably higher, but probably 25 as it's on all fours. So, yeah, they see they, it seems like the strangest Titan as they ever seen, but it's probably not gonna get it on the wall. That was until this thing literally pout, jumped onto the wall as it started to climb it. So yeah, Izuku, this, if you guys are wondering, the title I'm talking about is Izuku. So yeah. Izuku had, Izuku kept on running as, as he started scaling the wall. So yeah. The garrison started to shoot. I'm not really sure if it's called the garrison, but I'm just gonna keep on saying. It. But the garrison kept started to shoot out his fingers as they started to basically make Izuku mad. As as he was about to, as he was halfway up, Izuku's last finger was shot as. As Zuku literally made himself 12 meters tall. Well, but, so yeah, basically Zuku just shorted himself down to, tw to 20 meters tall. No, he shorted himself down to 22 meters. So yeah. But Izuku was not done as... He made a some sort of contraption on his back that... Using uh, using structural hardening, I think it was. Wait a minute, guys. So yeah, Zuku basically made a grapple on his back. You guys are wondering how he is he supposed to to basically launch it? Zuku starts emitting steam into some holes, and it starts to build up compressed air. So yeah. And Izuku launches the grapple over the wall. It digs into the wall as Izuku stops falling. As his fingers regenerate back in a flash and Izuku starts scaling the wall. So yeah. Izuku lets out a growl as the garrison just stopped moving. And Izuku, and Izuku successfully scales the wall. Izuku then just says, you can move. So yeah, Izuku jumps off as they're wondering what happened as they don't remember anything. So yeah. Izuku turns the the grapple thing into steam as Izuku is now over the wall and is standing proudly at 25 meters tall as he as he starts regenerating back those three meters. So yeah. Anyways, 
Izuku just falls onto the ground as as Izuku crawls over the back of the Titan. So yeah. Izuku pull, starts pulling off some cargo that he was carrying onto on the back of the Titan. As he was carrying supplies that he stole from a Marley a Marlian ship. So yeah, the three, the four-year-old Izuku was holding, sorry, sorry to pull on a a white pulley that he made from the Titan hardening. If you guys are wondering, this in this version, Izuku can actually use basic can use all the stuff. All, even the Titan of structural hardening while he's in a human form, including uh, the crystal hardening. So, yeah. Izuku starts pulling onto the. starts pulling thing as he's just tired. So, yeah. So, yeah, the Titan disappears. The next morning. Grisha is going to see a patient when he sees Izuku. So yeah, Grisha goes to this child who is literally, you guys are wondering, Izuku was actually an orphan as he escaped Marley on his Titan. His Titan had severe damaging, uh, well somewhat of damaging as even though Izuku's skin is almost impenetrable, his armor isn't. Izuku, so yeah, if you guys are wondering how does Izuku do all this, he, it looks like a beast titan. Well, let me actually clarify some things. Izuku ate, literally ate the lower body, uh, basically the torso and lower body, not on the neck. So yeah, Izuku did not want to actually take kill off someone so he instead took the lower below the neck instead and ate them this gaining Izuku a lot of the Titan abilities <clears throat> so yeah and Izuku had he so yeah, Izuku just smiled, well, not, uh, smiled as he made his escape, to only be in a barricade by Marlin's ships, which he literally killed. He didn't care about Marlins. He only cared about Eldians. So yeah, now we're back at the present as Izuku was literally nothing but skin and bones. Grisha had told, so yeah, Grisha had his appointment, the appointment due for a later date as, well, Grisha just instead just took Izuku with him and left him inside the car as he did the appointment. So yeah. The four-year-old Izuku was then taken back to the Jaeger family house as as Izuku was just tired and a lot. He was in pain. Carla helped Izuku as they fixed him a meal and he started to eat. So yeah. Grisha asks on where is he from and does he have family. Izuku's memories are blurry as he just says, no. I, if I'm correct, my family was killed off. Gunfire, I think. So yeah. Grisha was just saddened as, by this. 
so yeah, the Jaegers took Izuku in and made, declared him a honorary Jaeger. So yeah, yay. So yeah. Anyways, later on, the Izuku and the rest of the Jaegers take went go back to actually grab the cargo that Izuku was sleeping against. Grisha remarks on how white the packaging is. It's almost like it was made from structure. Made from something else. I don't know what's going on, guys. Sorry about that. So, yeah. Izuku continues on with his days as the incident with Mikasa happened. Izuku decides to stay close to Grisha as to go help him to get go get the, go get the military. But... Izuku also grabs, makes some bandage, makes some first aid equipment for, for Aaron in case he finds Mikasa. As, as Izuku knows that Aaron is going to go ahead and look for Mikasa. Or, so yeah. Anyways. So yeah. Izuku and Grisha get close, get closer and closer as they form a a son a son and father relationship. But Izuku also forms a relationship with Eren at making them half brothers, as basically making them. Izuku just declare them brothers. Izuku's always been there to help Eren, whether he will, whether he liked or not. So yeah, soon Izuku told Eren that he's gonna try to help him defend himself, teach him martial arts. So yeah. So yeah, the now six-year-old Eren just marks saying, "How does Izuku even know what martial arts is?" So actually, not really sure when Eren actually. When Aaron and Mikasa, you know, when all that happened. So, yeah, I'm just going to say... Wait a minute. There's nine. Ten, ten, ten. Okay, I got it. So, yeah, it's basically a few months after Aaron, they got Mikasa. So, yeah. Izuku basically throw, teaches Aaron how to fight. Aaron thinking he could beat Izuku since neither of them ever fought in their life. Only to be get a get a can of whoop ass as Izuku literally formed more in, more superior to Aaron. Aaron yelping when he literally gave Izuku a, a part a hard punch. As he remarks, God damn it! What are you, what are you made of? Iron? You guys are not wondering. Yes, Izuku's Izuku has invulnerability as has in has unbreakable skin. So yeah. Wait a minute, guys. So yeah, continuing on, Izuku. So yeah, later on, Izuku, Armin, and Mikasa are playing. Izuku, Izuku is literally is leaning against the wall as he's looking behind him to see as Aaron, Armin, and Mikasa are talking about the outside. Izuku looks behind him as he sees Levi. Why is they not wondering why I'm talking about this? Wait a minute, guys. Levi was there when Aaron, Mikasa, and Armin were talking about the outside. So, yeah. Anyways, Izuku tells them.
Like, 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 Ziggler showed Armin, Aaron, Mikasa a, a swift on what was he called the first flying machine. I so yeah. Everyone, they all were smiling with, by the. If you guys are wondering, no, I'm not talking about a blimp. I'm just gonna talk about an air ship. A minute, well, technically a miniature model of an air ship. So yeah. And Ziggler shows them what he teaches them. As Ziggler shows off using hot steam on one hot steam being basically what kind of I think to make it rise. And a release to make it go down. So yeah, the Ziggler shows the controls of a much bigger type of version. Basically, that of a human-sized version. So yeah, the Ziggler grabs onto the controls as he puts steam within the ship, and it starts to rise. The Ziggler then. Pulls a control that opens a hatch and releases the steam out, making it fall. So yeah. Izuka starts telling them about the science behind it. Armin, Mikasa, and Aaron were impressed by Izuku's intelligence with this. So yeah. Anyways, later on. So, yeah. <sighs> Wait a minute, guys. Oh, never mind. So, yeah, now we get to the tragedy. One day, Izuku was packing up all a lot of stuff as he. And now Izuku is 14. Well, not 14, 12. So yeah, Izuku says that he's thinking about getting a, another building in, well, wait a minute. So yeah, Izuku tells him that he's thinking about getting another building in Wall Road, saying that it would actually help with more paint, with a much more better place to actually invent his new flying machines. Zuka says that hopefully someday that they will actually help the Survey Corps. So that we can venture out more without actually harming others. Without harming other, a lot of the loss of life. So yeah. The next day, Izuku went, go, is on his... Izuku and Grisha head off. As Izuku is heading, heading to Wall Rose and Grisha is going to... A check to do a checkup, quote unquote. So yeah, Izuku buys a house in in Tross and brings all his stuff there. He unpacks all the things until Izuku senses something. So yeah. So yeah, later on, is it basically Zuko does not find Aaron until after the after Grisha gave Aaron his Titan. So yeah, Aaron. So yeah, Izuku just hugs Aaron as they lost as Izuku, Aaron, and Mikasa lost had a, a huge loss to them. So yeah. Zoo promises Aaron that he will make everything perfect. 
Now, as soon as someone uses Titan as, you know, the, the bad things will happen. So, yeah. Anyways, that's how I'm going to end off today, guys. So, guys, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.